Hello there, this is Steve again with the Flings Air Channel and we've been talking about fuselages and the components for a fuselage. Uh, I've been doing fuselage this way for a while now and wanted to share the methods mostly, not uh, so much uh, try to sell anybody on, on this as the right way to do anything. But uh, it's what I've ended up doing for a few years now, a couple of years anyway, and boy, if there was an easier, better way, and if you guys know of one, please tell me, um, I would do that. Uh, but that being said, this has been pretty successful for me, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the process. Um, pretty simple. I don't think this video is going to take long at all. Uh, the main thing that you need to do when you're when you're getting ready to glue uh, these together is to make sure that they're square. And so what I've done here, I've got a flat piece of plastic. You could use almost anything. Uh, and then I've got a piece of uh, grit tape. It's uh, actually Gator grit tape, which you can you might be able to find it at your hardware store, um, or you can get it online for sure. But anyway, it's just stuck down to this piece of plastic, so that I have an abrasive surface that'll stay flat. And I just like to drag the end of the tube over that a couple of times to knock off the high points. Sometimes a little bit of glue will stick out. Uh, and that'll rough that up and get it ready to, uh, ready to, to glue. And we are going to hot glue this, but I'm going to set it up with some tape beforehand. And we're going to go this way. And what I've found on doing the, the square tube to the channel is that it's easiest to line up one side and tape that when I, when we're doing channel to channel for the for the front section I actually tape the bottom. Um, but I want to get a feel for how this is going to line up. And in, in this case, the, the channel would like to be just a little skinnier. So I bet it's no problem. I just hold it out while we're gluing it. And so what we've done then is we've created a hinge with that tape. And what we'll do is we will glue the three surfaces that are going to contact on the uh, tube and then bring that over to, to meet the, uh, the channel. So for this, I'd like the hot glue to be not quite as hot as it comes out of the gun. So I'm just going to do a couple of squirts. That helps to cool off the gun a little bit, and I'm going to be careful. So that means I'm going to wear my glasses. All right. All right. Okay. So. Smear that off and hold it straight while the glue sets. The other side's got the tape, so it's. Wish I could, wish I could tape all the sides before I glued them, but this is reality. Tape side always comes out best. And then I want to address the bottom also. 
not lose any alignment. It's pretty good. chunks of glue that'll peel off. One thing that's nice having laminated film on these tubes and on these channels is the extra hot glue uh, you can roll off and not uh, not damage it like if it was just bare paper. The downside is the hot, hot glue will melt this laminating film if you apply it full heat. Pretty good. And I like to finish the taping starting over where I've already been and stretching this just slightly so that when I go around this corner where the taper is, I can actually get it to lay flat. Okay, next step, we're going to put the, uh, the nose cone on, and we'll do a similar thing. I'm going to try to smooth this off. Slightly. Okay, and, and a little more glue on this because you're going double width to double width. And I've got a little bit of a gap here that I want to fill up. Right. Try to keep the hairs off of the foam board. Again, just hold this straight until the glue has set. And this will not be my best one, but that's the nature of making videos. Part of making the channel strong is the, uh, the tape job. And now what you can do, you can take a fairly long piece of tape and feed it down in here. Start it there. Come around the outside. Across the bottom. And this ends up being a very strong joint.
and then the tape on top of the laminating film uh, which once you get the uh, all the bubbles worked out it becomes pretty much invisible all right. so that's the basic gluing process once again I said uh, this is not probably my best one but it's gonna have to do for this video well we'll see um, and then uh, when we come back we'll do a battery mount and the hooks for the rubber bands and then start working on the tail uh, till then, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.